I'm Jim Sandman. I graduated from Penn Law School in 1976. I'm currently president of the Legal Services Corporation, which is the largest funder of civil legal aid programs for poor people in the United States. I recommend that every law student consider a clerkship after graduation, no matter what you want to do in practice, whether you want to be a litigator or not, whether you want to be a practicing lawyer or not. The reason is it's one of the best ways to build a relationship with a mentor at the beginning of your career. The judge-clerk relationship is a very close working relationship. It really doesn't have any analog in, in the law firm setting. You're not going to be working with a single person close up for your first year as, as a lawyer, and particularly not one who's uh, likely to have had the, uh, the experience and the perspective of a judge. Uh, it's, it's very hard for people to find a mentor at the beginning of their careers, but the judge-clerk relationship builds one in. If you talk to most people who've clerked, the vast majority of them rave about the experience, and it's because of that. It's because of the personal relationship and the professional relationship that they developed with an experienced lawyer, a judge. That was definitely my experience. Now, I, I, the judge I clerked for was exceptional in the way that he worked with his clerks. He treated us as valued professional colleagues even though we were fresh out of law school. He listened to what we had to say. If we drafted something for him, he'd never change a word of what we did without telling us why. He, he would sit with us at the table in his library and go over opinion drafts, debating them back and forth. He didn't need to do that to do his job. That was for us so that we could learn and come away from the experience better. Um, he also took a personal interest in us. And uh, what I found over time, to my great surprise, was that my clerkship was not a one-year relationship with my judge. It turned out to be a 30-year relationship. My judge lived to be 96, and until the day he died, he was my counselor, my confidant, my sounding board, and my friend. And I would recommend that to anyone who could find any experience like that.